There's something else that I'd like to uh, explain to you that is very interesting, and that's the Doppler effect. You know, you, 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 all of us experience that when you hear a police car or an ambulance or a fire truck. When they're coming from a distance, you know, you hear the, the pitch. But as they pass through and they come to you, the pitch becomes very, very loud. But as they, as they go beyond you to the other direction, then the pitch becomes very, very low again. So it starts low becomes louder and louder and louder and then it's really loud when it reaches you and then after it goes away from you then the pitch goes down again why is that well um, here's why when the ambulance is moving towards you you have to remember that uh, sound travels through air right you need air for sound if there is no air you don't hear anything there's no sound so when the ambulance is coming at high speed towards you, it's pushing, it's pushing and compressing, it's putting a lot of pressure on the air waves. So that's why the pitch, the, the frequency, you know, the, the wavelength is shorter, the frequency is very high, and you hear a higher pitch, it's very loud. So the woman on the left, on the other hand, because the ambulance is moving away from her, the air waves are spreading away from each other. They're going farther away from each other. And so the, the, the sound that she hears becomes more faint and more faint. The pitch is much, much lower. And that is why um, she, she hears it more and more faint as the ambulance goes farther away. This whole thing was described by a scientist called Doppler, so we call it the Doppler effect. It's very interesting. But is it only for sound? Does this happen only for sound? No, it also happens for light. So if you look at the, at the sun at the top here, the sun is moving away from your eye. So because it's moving away, the light waves are more relaxed, they're longer wavelength. And what's longer wavelength in invisible light? We already know that. It's red color. So things will seem shifted towards a red color when light in, in, in the cosmos and space is moving away from you. If the light is moving towards you, then it's pushing, it's pressing the light to shorter wavelength, and we know that shorter wavelength is blue. And that's why we call that the blue shift. So this is how we know how objects in space are coming towards us or moving away from us. If they are moving away from us, there is a red shift because it's longer wavelength light, red light. And if it's coming towards us, then there is a blue shift. There is a shorter wavelength blue light. And that's very important for understanding um, many things in astronomy, and we'll explain that um, in the coming episodes.